has been read to us, and it is titled, Today You Shall Be With Me in Paradise. Making heaven is not depend on the numbers of years you spent in the church. For you to get to heaven, it is not the numbers of years you were born in the church, you live in the church, you died at the age of 100. So all your life you spend in the church, therefore, you are not qualified to enter heaven. That is not the issue. This man, at the point of death, turned to Christ for forgiveness. And his petition or request was expressly granted. Don't forget what Jesus said. At the time he's coming, two people will be together. And one will be taken. One will be what? Will be left. The man, at that point in time, he requested for forgiveness. He asked for forgiveness. And his request was granted not because he asked for it, but because he genuinely repented of all his sins. The man repented why there on the cross at that 11th hour a minute ago the man that was condemned repented and that is why Jesus granted his request people of God this singular act emphasized the fact that we are saved not because of deeds or works. But we are saved. We obtain salvation through faith in Christ. And this faith is what St. Paul emphasized in his letter to the Galatians. When he said that you are saved not because of works. Not because of what you have done. But because of your faith in Christ, what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary. This man, a minute to go, he obtained salvation. In fact, some people believe, some scholars believe that this man in heaven This man will get where he will stay. Because he no work at all. Therefore, no house for him to stay. Because he not do any work. This assertion is not true. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Because Jesus told him, Today, you will be with me in where? In where? In paradise. People sleep on the floor in paradise. Oh, nah, answer now. People they sleep for flood in paradise. And so the man without any works, based on that statement alone from Jesus, the benefit of heaven, everything that has to do with heaven, the man he got it all. Hallelujah. That is Jesus for you. That is grace. That is the power of grace. That is the power of mercy. And so, it is never too late to turn to Christ. It is never too late to turn to Christ. Look at Jesus again. Even in his agony, Jesus had mercy on this criminal. Even with all the suffering, with all the agony, 
Is this show mercy? Is this show mercy? Can you help me look at your neighbor? Say neighbor. This is your tongue. Wash up. The other one said, he ridiculed Jesus. He joined the crowd to ridicule him. He mocked him. Are you not the Messiah? Sir, are you not the son of God? Do something. If you think that you have the power, do something. And the other man had to rebuke him. You don't fear God. We, me are you, me are you, me are you. We are criminal. But this man does nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you get to your kingdom. And the assurance was... We hope you were blessed by this message. For more information, visit our website www.egoeyeopener.com God bless you.